Yo, what's going on guys, Jerome here, and back with another Black Ops 2 video, and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about a really great strategy for Diorite, so this is going to be a great strategy to get you guys to a high round. As you can see guys, I'm on round 111 now, and I did in fact get to round 113. Um, I managed to get something like 36,000 kills, I've done this in solo, and this is my own gameplay. Um, it took quite a long time, it took me roughly, um, I think it took in the end 2 hours and 50 minutes or something like that. But yeah, so it took quite a while, um, but it, it was definitely worth it. I mean, it took me roughly five hours, but I paused it a lot, um, had breaks and that, And but the gameplay in theater mode was two hours and 50 minutes. So it, it depends. If you want to do three hours straight, then you can, and it, it will only take you three hours to get to around 113. That's if you get your saddle pretty quickly, guys. I recommend coming here at, as soon as possible. You can buy Galva Knuckles, so you can come here pretty early. You could come here at like round eight. Just buy Galva Knuckles, buy all your perks. Um, perks is definitely a great thing. I recommend getting four perks before you come here and then getting your other two when you get here, get them from the minion round. Um, I'm just going to be basically going through the strategy with you guys, giving you a few tips when you're in this strategy. Because I know a lot of people do struggle with this strategy and they can only make it to like round 40, 50 you do using the strategy. And it, you can easily, easily guys make it to 80, 90 with no problems if you do this strategy in the right way. Now as you can see guys, I'm shooting one bullet at the zombies at the start of the round. This is what I do anyway. I shoot one one at the floor, one um, slick fire bullet. You always need a slick fire. Well, I shoot one at the floor and then I shoot one at the zombies. Um, sometimes you do need two at the floor. Um, but you want to reserve your ammo as best as possible. So I recommend just using one. And if they do, if you do find that one or two get through, then just use another bullet. But try not to let them get through. Um, the slick fire slime on the floor lasts 20 seconds, guys. It might be 21 or 22 seconds, but at 20 seconds is the best time. So you can time it if you want, but I, I didn't time it. I just know off the top of my head. Um, time it first, and you'll you'll get into it. If you do it a few times, then eventually you'll realise how long 20 seconds is. Um, even if you do like 8 or 19 seconds, but you don't want to be shooting one bullet every five or ten seconds because you're just going to get through get through way too much ammo. So you need to shoot as little as often, a uh, little as much, sorry. So you just shoot as like try to do it every 15 or 20 seconds, guys, and try to keep the zombies all, as far as away as possible because I noticed that. If they run out into the room in front of you, so if they get through the doorway that you can see in front of me now, if they get through that doorway, you're going to struggle to get them back down in there. But there is a good strategy to get them back down in there. If they manage to push through, guys, just shoot to the left or to the right of them in the bottom corner, and they manage to, the bullet actually misses the zombies and it goes through and it hits down back below. Um, another great strategy is just to run in the room. Just run straight past the zombies. They won't be able to hit you because they'll be sliding all over the place. But you don't really want to run at um, zombies when when there's a max ammo. You don't want to just run in there and grab it. Wait patiently. Wait till you get a chance, guys, and then run and get the ammo. As you can see, I'm now on round 112. Um, another great strategy, guys, is to reserve your claymores. I reserved all my claymores, put them pointing at the wall, and save them from the minion rounds. They can save you a lot of ammo. Um, they can also save a lot of time. So, guys, that's a brilliant tip. Save your claymores. Don't just lay them all over the place. They don't do nothing against zombies. But on the minion rounds, they kill them one hit, one kill. They're really, really powerful. So, just that, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Subscribe to my channel for loads more Black Ops 2 videos. And I'll see you in another video very soon. Thanks for watching, guys.